here we have Ethereum, Ethereum versus the dollar, of course, and we are grinding up once again around the prior all time highs. This is obviously long term very good. The question is, does it come down a little bit more and try to set in what uh, would be just another higher low? Well, technically speaking, this is shaping up to be perhaps another uh, perhaps a higher low right here in fact i mean it's right around the 21 there's your last low right there very constructive rally and we would have hidden bullish divergence uh, going all the way back yeah to those uh, to those middle of october lows which is right here so that is good how would we confirm this as a higher low and i suppose get ready for the bula party um well closing a daily back above about 4100 would certainly do it for me i don't necessarily think that it's going to happen today but if you close today some like this and then tomorrow you pop back up and close above let's say 4100 on a daily yeah that'd look really really good keep in mind that bbwp is also on the floor here as well so expansion alongside trend continuation would obviously imply well in this case a macro breakout i mean we're right there on the monthly or sorry not the uh, not the monthly although we are there on the monthly as well but the five days the chart that i'm looking at right now and we would have technical target um, on a break of this top side resistance right here at about, well, 4,000 on a five day, that is. Or on a weekly as well, probably does it. And that'd be pointed up towards the four spot, uh, 414 Fibonacci extension at about 5420 uh, or so, which is quite the run, dare I say. So, of course, you know, Bitcoin's going to run this market. And, you know, if Bitcoin does reach a little bit lower for its higher low, let's say around $55,000, if that does happen, I'd be looking for Ethereum somewhere down around about 50, uh, sorry, 35 to 3,600 or so. And uh, that's kind of where you'd be ang angling my cannons. Until then, um, this one actually has a, a more mature setup than Bitcoin right now. Short term time frames looking good for a uh, short term push back up somewhere around 4060, maybe even as much as uh, 4080 or so. Let's see what the hourly looks like. Yep, same thing right here. Uh, short term reversal in progress. Um, I would get a lot more excited about this one on the short term time frames, uh, maybe even front running a, uh, uh, yeah, maybe even front, front running that daily higher low call on the daily, uh, within hourly above even 4090 at this point. Let's see what lower term time frame momentum monitors are suggesting over here and see if they agree with that. If they do, that's going to start to look, you know, decent. Uh, daily will pop back up above 4170, uh, so that's not probably not happening today. Four hours actually going to pop back up above 30, 3975. Um, Closing in two hours, 19 minutes. Not bad. Two hour is going to be actually crossing up freshly. Same area, 30, 39.64. Good. Uh, that's happening in 19 minutes and uh, 15 seconds. Hourly is already up, as you would expect, and it will remain up as long as above 3,900. Uh, yeah, I do think short term, very, very likely to uh, continue the bounce alongside Bitcoin. And then the question is, can it clear above, let's say, 4090 on a short term time frame? If it can, it's going to look pretty damn good um, for putting in a bit of a bear trap right there on the short term time frames. Higher term time frames just look like another higher low. It's good. Uh, dare I say, pretty damn good. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I want to address here? Yes, definitely. Right in over here on the secondary chart. OK, so let's pull up Ethereum. OK, whoa, that is getting crazy over here. Um, anyways, uh, monthly, we which which will be closing on, on Sunday. However, wherever we close tomorrow on Friday is likely going to be wherever uh, Sunday is going to kind of land anyways. At least in my experience, that's typically where we get pinned around. Um, any sort of a closure above 3,900 is going to look good for new highs in November and probably new highs in December as well as the bi-monthly would also be trending above the top side trend demand. I mean, this is good this is good uh long term the question is just short term do we reach a little bit lower or not um i do suspect that uh you know there is a legitimate possibility that uh that bitcoin and ethereum have actually put in the lows right here and we do not go lower again i want to see my conditions fulfilled here but uh you know it's 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 acting right if it is going to do something like that of course i should also talk about downside conditions as well uh any sort of a lower high below about 4100 even on a four hour time frame and yeah, that would still be kind of looking for that next move down somewhere around uh, next targeted region would be about 3750, probably bounce there and then come back and see where Bitcoin is after that. Uh, but hopefully that was helpful. And uh, there you go for Ethereum.